Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, we are going to have a look on another custom ROM for our Redmi Note 6 Pro. And this time we have a Matrix OS and it's based on Android 14 and kind of initial build but working pretty well on my Redmi Note 6 Pro. So we are going to have a look on this ROM today. Uh, I haven't used Matrix ROM on my any of my devices. I have been trying many devices with many custom ROMs, but I have never tried Matrix ROM. Um, for my experience on this device, actually, it was quite good. And maybe there will be a new update for this ROM. As an initial build, this ROM is doing pretty well. So let's jump into the video. First of all, uh, as you can see, the, the lock screen is like Android 14 based ROM. You can change the lock, clock and other things and font and other things. Those are available. And also uh, one more thing available here is that uh, like we have, we do have like working fingerprint scanner on this. And the fingerprint scanner does work, as you can see here. So fingerprint scanner is working just fine. And also face unlock does work. And as you can see here, it does take time to like, um, but it's not really fast, but it does work perfectly fine, as you can see. So it's working just fine. Going with the other things. Uh, first of all, this ROM doesn't come with G apps. So if you flush this ROM, you have to flush G apps separately. Not a difficult job to do, but it's a little bit hassle, uh, uh, a bit more steps to follow. So that's one uh, like downside of this ROM here. And going with the applications, as you can see here, not much application are available with this ROM. And few of the application I have installed here. And as you can see here, the camera app actually, it came with Gcam Go maybe, this one. It does work perfectly fine. And I have installed another Gcam directly from the Play Store which is also working just fine. I have no issue with them. And also there are a few other things like audio effects. If you really want to like tweak your audio and other things and also uh, music player, which is Axio. And I, I really like this music player too, actually. I'm going with other things. There is a gallery available and Metalog. I don't really know why it's there. And also YouTube and AI browser, which I have installed uh, myself. And going with the setting, um about phone so and going with the android versions as you can see here the device is running on android version 14 and this is a beta build as you can see beta vanilla build so as i said you have to flush gf separately but not really a difficult job to do but anyway it's there and also you can see security patch level is november 1 2023 so quite like a uh, two months ago it it been released maybe there will be a new update of this ROM but I haven't found one yet so there will be review on those ROMs too later on if I get one and going with other things the setting UI as you can see here it's pretty nice uh, what do we typically get with Android 14 based ROM it's better like the UI is a little bit different but there are a few things going on which I don't really like with uh, like the this ROM first of all um, if you're going with the UI it's good this smooth and it's working perfectly fine no issue with those things going the metric setting there are a few things going on you can change whatever you like the ui tweaking and all those things are available and going on the miscellaneous as you can see here we do have unlimited photo storage here and also netflix spoof also swipe to screenshot and other things and those things are available and the ui as you can see it's pretty nice actually as i said the setting ui, UI is pretty nice like I uh, used to get with Oxygen OS, pretty much similar. And um, going with other things, uh, we do have like Wi-Fi and SIM data, all of those things working perfectly fine. I haven't faced any kind of issue with those things. And many of you actually asking me like, uh, is there any ROM uh, which comes with like always on display with this kind of device? But I don't really recommend. And also this ROM doesn't support uh, always on display. And it's not really good for this kind of device because it's it's having an LCD panel which consumes a lot of battery. So in that case, it doesn't make sense to use uh, always on display on this kind of device. Going with the display settings, the adaptive brightness is working perfectly fine. If I show you that, so now it's as you can see, it increased the brightness a little. But I, for the video's sake of the video, I have to reduce it. So the brightness is working perfectly fine. And if you go to the dark theme, you can get it. As you can see, you can turn it on and you can also apply the pure black one. So that's also a Bible. And we can turn on light night mode and also rotation settings are a Bible. 
tap to sleep, work, uh, work and all those, all those things are working perfectly fine. No issue with those things. And um, going with the wallpaper and others. So those things are working perfectly fine and you also change the shortcut on your locker skin. Um, and if you go to more things here, as you can see the ambient display is there but it doesn't work actually. It will only work when you get some notification. It will show for some time and it will turn it off. So that's, as you can see, ambient display is on but it doesn't work. So, yeah, that's all about the display setting and other things. Rather than that, everything is pretty much similar to whatever you get with other ROMs. There is nothing new here. All these things are available and going with the system, there is nothing much going on. You can go with the Mi device setting to tweak the display. Other than that, there is nothing much going on with the device setting too. And ambient display is available here too. And you can see it's it's still on, but it doesn't work as you can see here. Display calibration is also available. You can tweak your display settings. I uh, have did it to 230 or you can put it on 242. Actually, it does work pretty well. I will not say it will like uh, completely remove the skin retention, but uh, you will uh, like it will you will see less of skin retention with the settings going with the other things gestures are available whatever you want all those things are available the rom is perfectly working fine there is no issue and going with the battery section here is one of the disappointing part of this rom actually so the battery holds pretty well but the standby time of this rom is pretty like bad so i have charged my device to 100 percent yesterday and i left it for whole day and uh, when i got it it, it was on 58 percent but I did not use my device for anything. But now when I'm using the device, as you can see, the battery is still holding pretty well. But when I, it's the, the standby time is pretty bad on this device. Uh, this ROM actually, I don't really know why is that. Maybe in the future update they will fix that. As for now, you will have to deal with this, this uh, what it called the issues. And safety net is passed. So you can use bank apps with this ROM. There will be no issue with using bank apps. And other than that, there is nothing new to tell about with uh, Android 14 and other things. Everything works perfectly fine here too. The camera is also working perfectly fine. So that's all about Matrix ROM. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.